Anyang, welcome back to K Apocalypse with Chris Fidelis. I just wanted to go over Halicia. It came out, it was huge for all of 18E. We were staying up super late. Well, I stayed up until 11 p.m. that night because I really wanted to see it when it first came out because I was excited, I was full of adrenaline. Did you stay up all night to watch the video or did you wake up in the morning and that was like the first thing you did? So I went on Reddit because, you know, that's where I get all of my knowledge that I want to share with all of you to see what everyone had to say about Halazia by ATs. And some are saying it's their favorite comeback of 2022. I don't know about you, but this is my first comeback with them and it was epic. They are already starting to perform stages for it. And let's say that, um, Mr. Choi San, you have some splaining to do. You are out of pocket. So on Reddit, they're saying a lot of good, positive things, so I just want to go over this. It's official. Halazia by ATs is my favorite comeback from 2022. What is your favorite comeback from 2022? And what comebacks are you excited for in 2023? I got a lot of questions I want to ask you, but let's dive further into this article. I just watched the music video and I can't say anything other than I'm speechless. The song is so good and catchy. It's an instant grower. Hmm, okay. The holla 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 zia part is just stuck in my head ever since I listened to the song. Is it stuck in your head? I think those they call those earworms or something like that. The music video was a cinematic masterpiece. Agreed. I'm not smart enough to figure out what's going on, but I love it regardless. The choreo is just on the next level as well. Just when I thought they couldn't outdo Gorilla, they really shut me up with this release. Now with Gorilla, that was my first experience with ATs and it blew me out of the water. I had never heard anything like that in K-pop and I am not an OG K-pop fan. I've only been in K-pop for about two and a half years now and Gorilla just offered something that other groups were not offering at that time. Now, I'm not saying that other groups are crappy or anything like that, but Gorilla by ATs really offered something really spectacular and unique. Do you agree with that or am I just, am I crazy? Is my blood sugar low? Like what's going on in my head? This Redditor had to say, anybody else feeling depressive right now? This song makes me feel so emotional right now. Also, hello, deep voice. Where were you when I needed you this bad yo song? Yo song's voice was something else. Like it was a surprise because we do hear yo song in a lot of songs, but in this song particularly, he had a lot of front stage action as far as presenting his vocals are concerned. And he was snatching my, my, my freaking brain. Like that is not even an expression, but that's exactly what he was doing. He was reinventing expressions in my mind. Yo song, deep voice is life changing. I got chills when he came in at the pre-chorus. Like he sounds so incredibly good. I want him to read audiobooks to me. I would pay for an album of him doing ads, ad reads, just so I could hear his voice more. Let's upload that. We're uploading that. Before I saw Yo Song's face, I assumed it was Mingi, based on the deep voice alone. Haha. -ha. Mingi also was delivering deep vocals in this song as well. We're gonna upload that. We're gonna bring it to an even number 10. But Yo Song was definitely giving us something to to, to hold on to in this song, and he was not letting go of any of AT's hearts. If you were not standing AT's before, do better. Raise your standards. Stand AT's for better health. Oh my god, same. I was watching it on FaceTime with a friend, and when the music video ended, we both just stared at each other in shock. Maybe they were staring at each other in shock because a gigantic orb hit Choi San in the face, and I'm like, what was that? What is happening in the situation? If you have any sort of ideas about what you think that orb was representing, drop it down below in the comments. I know there was a lot of ATs lore that I am just not involved in because it's way too much for my brain to even handle. But a lot of people were saying that they want uh, the captain to do a Q&A session with ATNE to explain to us what exactly is going on in Halazia. In fact, all of ATsville or ATNEville would love to know what's going on. We all want to be on the same page as you, Captain. Seriously. As an ATs lore enthusiast, this music video is just like a feast. Well, I'm jealous. I want I want to be at the table. I don't know what's going on in this in this music video. And even just as an ATNE, it's literally insane what the boys are producing. They never fail to awe us with unbelievable music and incredible choreographies. The choreography is sick. Them doing some sort of sign of the cross while 
dropping it while it's hot, sort of, was really invigorating. I really enjoyed that myself. I'm so hyped right now, but also emotional. It reminded me of Answer. There is a move in Answer that I really like. I'm pretty sure you know what it is. Bula bula. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Inception, but new style of AT's flavor that they started doing this year. Sort of an upgrade. Isn't it up? I do feel like it is an upgrade from the videos that I saw. I wish I discovered them when initially when they came out so I could really appreciate their growth. But as far as performance and dynamite presentation is, is concerned, I feel like they've always had that and it's something that maybe they are becoming even more comfortable with as they are, you know, getting older in, in the K-pop gang. Not to say that they're old or ancient or anything like that, but they're getting more at work experience as far as presentation is concerned. And I think in less than two years, they're probably, they're on their way to the top, but they're gonna be on the top of their game. They could be at the forefront of K-pop because they really are delivering something that is not in k-pop at this time in my opinion there could be other groups that are out there but i'm not allowed to stand or look at other opas because hanjun said don't so i'm gonna be blinded about what is going on and, it, and it's not fair so let me know who else is at the top with ats as far as performance is concerned and, and musicality is concerned and dancing is concerned. Holla 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 Zia is stuck in my head permanently. They really said you thought we're done? Not yet. Haha, -ha, what a way to end their most successful year. This year for them is stellar. One of their highest record sales happened in this year with over a million copies. That's like, I believe it was pre-order. And if I'm talking out of my AWS, drop it down below because you are very knowledgeable and I love that about you. Sharing is caring. A lot of people are just saying that the song is just very captivating and that it's very nostalgic of second gen. And I don't, I'm not very familiar with second gen music. I, I guess technically I kind of got in K-pop around third gen. So what is that around BTS, Monster X type stuff. So clearly none of that music is even on parallel with ATs. ATs is kind of doing their own thing. BTS and Monster X, they're all doing their own thing out of BTS and Monster X, I prefer Monster X. I like older BTS songs, but that's neither here nor there. A lot of people are saying that Yo's song's part really just stuck out to them and gave them chills. And it was very surprising to hear Yo's song's tone. Someone was saying that, you know, hearing his baritone voice was just giving them the feels. And I can definitely see how that was happening. In my reaction to Halazia, I actually got literally attacked by Yo's song when he was doing his part after Sangwa was center saying Halazia and then and then Yosung just creeped in there and just just went for my neck and I was like Mr. Kang like we don't we don't need that they snapped they did snap I'm afraid they absolutely just destroyed it and I know they know I know they were wiggling in their chair saying they're not ready and we were not this was literally me at their concert I was saying I wasn't ready I was not ready to be wrecked but they did it anyway the spiritual experience, my god. Their stage performance of this was definitely a spiritual experience, and we are gonna watch some clips of that as well, so just get ready. I'm gonna be playing it in the background right now, so enjoy it. They look so good. They look magnificent. I know they were wiggling in their chairs. They definitely were wiggling in their chairs. Nobody is doing it like ATs, and I'm just so proud of them for paving the way for experimental music, not to say that anyone in K-pop isn't experimental, but as far as the groups are that I'm listening to, ATs is at the forefront as far as musical experimentation and just the combining of different genres together. Like there was like EDM feels, there was drum and bass, there's there's a screamo, there's punk, there's just so much going on in ATs's music, and it's just so exciting to see them grow as artists and as adults and as people in general, because being creative is such a gift. And I'm so glad that they want to share that with us. And the chorus is making me levitate. Yes, we're putting that in there. Also, I just can't keep up with the lore. So I was just vibing through the music video and saying, hey, this is kind of cool. It definitely was cool. I wish I knew more about the lore, but the music video was really, really good. It was cinematography at its finest. Someone was saying, if you pause on every frame, of the music video it's just gorgeous and the cinematographer thought about that intensely about what they wanted to deliver to us as far as visuals are concerned and ATs's visuals never decline they're always going to pass 
the bar. They're always going to be upgraded to the highest level. Songwa with that platinum, platinum hair is just giving me luxurious person on Rodeo Drive. And I'm, I'm just living for his California look, seriously. Or, or maybe it's more of a vampire look. I don't know what's going on with their styling, but they need to calm down on that. That's for sure. Speaking of styling, San's outfit in the, in the first stage that I saw of Halizia was inappropriately magnificent. That's all I got to say. You know what? I'm going to show you something that I found on Twitter and don't, don't feel attacked, but, uh, did you see that? We'll see it again. Did you see that? That's happening right now on the screen. Mr. Choli San's whole outfit is giving us back. Look at Sir's back. Sir's back is gorgeous. Let me make this larger for you so you can see it. And it's just gonna be playing in the background while I'm talking. Choi San understands the art of showmanship. He understands the art of presentation. He understands the art of thirst trap. And Choi San doesn't care about our feelings. He doesn't mind that we want to thirst over him. In fact, he encourages it because he knows that's exactly what we're doing. So this was just a brief going over of Halazia because I really just wanted to reach out to you to let you know that I understand what you went through while you were watching the music video because I was going through the same thing. So who in the video attacked you the most? Also, you can watch the reaction of me reacting to Halazia as well. I'm gonna tag it right there. So thank you so much for joining me for K Apocalypse. Happy New Year, and I will see you soon. TTYL, Anyang.